Alright, two apologies to make before anything else. One, Mr. Milky will be messaging me throughout this. Because, for some reason, I don't know why, he has decided now is the time. He may join the call later, and who knows, this might be the version that actually gets uploaded, though I highly doubt it. Anyways, second apologies, because I'm really tired, because I just woke up. I'm just tired in general. Anyways, you may notice I got the lightning staff thingy from the Old One's Army. I actually got that before doing Hive Mind and all that. But, in the recording, I was super tired, so I decided, you know what, I just won't upload it. Because <laughs> nothing changed in Master Mode, and I don't think people care enough. People do care enough. I don't know, let me know in a comment if you really want to see me do the Old One's Army. Where I basically just stand there and my minions kill everything. And then again, that's most of the gameplay, and you guys have already been watching that, so I really don't know. Could you get out of here? Three loaders. Anyways, we are going to be fighting the Queen Bee. And I have heard tell that all bosses are enraged and it doesn't matter where you fight them. Because Malice Mode. So that means I can just fight the Queen Bee here. Of course, the Abominator needs to be used in the jungle in order for it to actually, you know, do anything. You know what, one sec. Eh, Alright, fine. <sighs> Again, I forgot to bought it. Bring a stupid bed over. Oh, this really is the pit? I thought this was like one of the small ones. Oh well. I guess I haven't shown you guys my jungle entrance of ultimate power, so here we go. And we're looking for enough cobwebs that I can make a friggin... There we are. I think I need a bit more than that, but we'll find it. And I'll also need a little bit of iron, but not too much. So that won't be a problem. I'm using the Aestheticus because it scales with all weapon bonuses. So it technically counts as a summon weapon. If I had danger sensor right now, that would I did go ahead and make myself the Aerialite armor, so I am immune to fall damage. Hooray. Falling into water was not the best example of it, but you get the point. Now, that's also why there's a Valkyrie following me around. Uh, so that, I think, should be enough. We just shouldn't need 70. I don't think so, anyways. That's the number I'm thinking of, but shouldn't be the one we need. Anyways. Well, this whole place is mud. I'm gonna need a furnace. Because I'm dumb. There. So it'll also be nice to build a, the witch doctor a house. So, I guess I'm doing that as well. This is why I was apologizing for being tired. <sighs> Let's see here. Just teleport back home, do all this, and that would be 
real quick, but I don't want to walk back here. Is that uh, dejecting? Instead, I'll use the Splunker potions that I bought from the miner, which is nice, which lets you find area light super quick, and also just, you know, everything. And it's nice that they did it the moment they get you area lights so that you're able to find easier. It's twice expensive as every other potion, though. Which, not as appreciative of. Oh yeah, go check the timestamp if you want to see when I fight the Queen Bee and not some rando playing Terraria. Because you probably came here to see me fight the Queen Bee. That's, you know, tends to be what people show up for when they click on a video titled Malice Mode Queen Bee. Uh, come on. I do this quickly, but I am not fast. Come on, where's the blue? There. Five of this. Yep. Bed. contradictory sentence, but I'm sure you understand. Or maybe you don't. just this amount of wall, I'm gonna be annoyed. That should be enough. Definitely. Alright. With that done, the trying to beat Queen Bee can begin. Well, also once I, you know, And of course, it's nighttime, just like every single other boss fight I've ever done. They are always at nighttime when no one is able to see anything, including me. Which I assure you is so much fun. I love not being able to see anything. Especially when I'm trying to kill a very difficult boss. Apparently be fighting enraged Queen B, who isn't really enraged, but is always enraged. Which will be fun, I'm sure. Definitely haven't heard of how difficult enraged Queen B is all the time. Let's see. Hello. Now. Not do that. Ow. That that is why I said a bed, ladies and gents. I really feel like this whole you fall faster thing is not working out. Gonna enable feather fall. Which I have in my inventory for the unlimited feather fall. It is not a cheat. It's a mod. A feather fall, as long as I have 30 of the potion that I've crafted together. Just not a cheat. Anyways. Hello again. Here. Just not do that.
you're not supposed to do that character. Okay. That's manageable. Ow. Maybe for my character, but not for my back. Ack. So, yeah. That's, uh, that's what we're working with. Now, if I was a fast boy, the moment that she charged, I'd use my slime mount and go down, rather than holding down and praying. But you see, I am not a fast man, and I am incapable of doing this speedy tactic. Yes! Whee! Okay. Oh, yeah. And I forgot to, you know, summon the nurse here so that I could actually heal between fights. I forgot that I don't start at, you know, full HP. Yeah. Okay. This is gonna be fun. Daytime, so I can nearly see what I'm doing. Ha ha! Love that. Get over here. Thank you. One good thing about nighttime: NPCs move into their houses nearly instantly. Alrighty, I think I can do this. What do y'all think? Am I fast enough? Thought I'd do this in one try, didn't you? Nah, 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 nah. <sighs> Sorry, Mr. Milky. I am not that good at the game. Yes, I know that. Now then, let's do it again.
not supposed to do that twice. You know this. longer video, who would have guessed? <sighs> you thought all of it was gonna be prep and me running around and then I'd first try the boss and be like, ha ha ha, I made it ten minutes. No. <laughs> yeah, for the very first time, I am showing you the truth of how I do these boss battles. It's very difficult. And I do it anyways. And I lose a lot. feel exceedingly slow, like I don't have boots on or something during this fight. Let's do it again. Come on, quit flying around. Get down here. Oi, oi. Oi. Quit that. Oi. No. and give you no iframes and they just hit you over and over and over again from one hit and then you die. I think it was the same with Queen Slime according to Bucket. He had a lot of difficulty with that. But you know what? I'm getting the hang of it. Not really. I got her down to 2% one time and since then I haven't been able to replicate the feat. I'd say that's not getting the hang of it. I'd say that's losing the hang of it. But, you know... Now we just gotta wait and hope that she does her charge attack eventually, yep. I get it. You want to hang out and you want to watch some fecking anime. Give me one goddamn minute. You do not need to double ping me. You cheeseburger. Yeah. 
Yeah, I called you a cheeseburger. What are you gonna do about it, Bucket? Huh? Huh? What are you gonna do? master of the double pinger who always says my name despite the fact that he is literally already messaging me and it very loudly pings me so he never has to say my name or he goes um er while literally typing which I find so annoying why would you send me an entire notification just for um er he said yo one of those was yo why would you yo at someone who you are already making a bing at? Oh, in case you couldn't tell, I am taking out my frustrations with the Queen Bee and all of this adrenaline out on Milky. And this is not the first time he has done this. Not by a long shot. He has been doing this for over a year and I have been telling him for over a year to stop it. So kindly go and tell Milky, hey... Seriously, if he messages you in the comments section telling you something, tell him, hey, stop yoing at people via text message. You don't need to do that. Sincerely, Vess.